hello, welcome. Uh, thank you for everyone who submitted their your logos. I'm just gonna critique them briefly. Uh, first, we're looking at April's. Um, my suggestion for you, April, is I like it. I mean, it's an interesting design. Um, I'm just not sure what you're trying to convey as far as your design um, because this looks a little bit like melted ice cream. I know it's a moon too, but I'm just not, I'm a little bit confused about what you're going for if you if you mean for it to be like a mel melted ice cream or what. Um, and then the other thing is that this star right here is essentially the focal point of your logo. Um, I'm not sure what you want the focal point to be, but this is where my, my eye goes. Uh, I would maybe bring this star down closer into the logo um, or do, do something like that. You might also want to simplify your logo because you have a lot going on and if we were to zoom out you can see that since the star is way off in the corner it's becoming more and more the focal point. So if you are going for like a moon with an A um, and then also at this angle, it starts to look like a wave with an A on it. So I would just kind of let me know what you're going for with your logo and I can help uh, critique it more. But I would say bring that star in, maybe simplify some of the elements, get rid of the illustration and web design stuff down here. So that you can always explain in your body text or something, say you're an illustrator and web designer. Or somewhere else, not necessarily with the logo. That's basically it. Um, oh, and then here's your your pattern with the logo. So I would just say that a lot of these elements might get lost if you shrink down. Um, so. Um, and now we have Cheryl's. Uh, Cheryl. Uh, something else, when you're sending me your logo, I don't have all your fonts, so I think your font is probably is not what it originally looks like. Um, so Cheryl, for yours, I would say try not to use so many colors, but rather simplify. Use line and shape. Um, if you want to be able to be able to print this uh, black and white, but right now this probably would not work out black and white. Um, and also, this is like one logo, and then the swirl is like another logo. So it's like you got you got too much going on here. So I would take stuff out, decide what you want. Do you just want part of the dragonfly, or do you is the swirl area um, more important to you? So if we shrink it down. Yeah, it's a really too big of a logo, um, and we've got two areas of emphasis going on. So I just pick one, one or the other, and if you go with the dragonfly, stick with black and white. Um, these textures and stuff they're they're pretty, but you can use those in another another project. And then now we have. Cheryl's logo. Um, so I think you e emailed me before, and you had the the sun and moon logo. Um, so this this I would say looks um, more like a spider right now. Um, and uh, so you might, and you might also want to shrink your C so it can fit more comfortably and have a consistent uh, gray background ar around it. Um, you also might want to simplify the C so as it shrinks down, it can still be read easily. Um, oh, okay, so get up there too. And I almost, I almost like this design this design more. Um, 
The only thing, yeah, my criticism before was that it might look like a copyright sign, but I think if it's filled in, it might not um, look like a copyright sign. But I think this one is more legible than, than this one. And this one, like, for some reason, the star just, uh, like, it annoys me because it's a very, you have very organic shapes, and then you have a very, like, cliche little star going on in there. So this one, I, I like this design more. I would suggest, I would, I would push you more to using this one. But, you know, feel free to talk to your classmates, too, and see what they're, what they're thinking um, about it. All right, so we got one more to look at. Um, this is Donna. Uh, Beard's logo. So Donna, um, for your logo, here it is smaller. Uh, I think Donna's going for a mountain range. Um, my suggestions would be, you don't want to necessarily rely on an outline to, um, you know, give emphasis to your logo. You you actually want to use solid shapes, kind of like she's using over here. Just because if you were to print this. Um, you never know if that little outline is going to stay consistent. And also, if you go to print it, it's a whole other color that you have to add to your printing cost. So you want to try to stick to something that can be just, um, you know, solid, just solid black and white. Um, I mean, this is nice and straightforward. I would just suggest, you know, if you're doing a mountain range, go in there and make your mountain range look more intentional intentional right now it just looks kind of like a zigzag is going on um and then also i think it's just a zigzag with a fill on it so i would just make everything a little more intentional you could have the mountain range go over all the letters and then fill it with a gradient so you see over here she used a gradient so it could go from dark up here to light when you go to the text um, or you could keep it dark and then have the text be like a white. But I would have the, I mean, I would make a better looking mountain range that has more detail in it. Um, and it has more unique shapes so that people will remember it. Because like, for example, this, this sun down here, um, it's, it's unique how it, how it opens from the side. Here, so people are more likely to remember this logo. Whereas this is just a little more generic. And I don't necessarily, this zigzag is bringing me away from the initials below. So I don't actually even read your initials. So that's why I'm suggesting incorporate the two more. Um, uh, so that's my critique. Thanks for everyone who submitted. I look forward to seeing your final projects. Um, if you have questions or have another draft, just shoot me an email. Uh, I should be around my computer, um, you know, this weekend. Um, I just might not be able to get back to you right away, but I will get back to you within the day that you send it. All right, well, good luck on your stuff.